Hi, Mark Gordon here. Uh, 8 o'clock Pacific Time on Thursday, October 20th. Wanted to show you the GLD. This is the gold ETF and uh, a possible trade opportunity. We are back down here near this lower trend line. And I have drawn a line along the lows here. Uh, this takes us back at least uh, uh, through the beginning of the year. So this trend's been in place for a while. Uh, you could also make an argument that we uh, this trend goes back uh, into 2010 as well. So a major challenge coming up here. Will it hold? We don't know. Um, what I like to do is buy against this line as prices are rising. So uh, once again, down here challenging this lower trend line, uh, down about uh, almost 4% on the week. Um, gold did bounce uh, here uh, uh, three or four weeks ago, uh, came up, uh, challenged this 20-week moving average here, closed above it last week, and now we have uh, reversed and, uh, and fallen. So uh, let's go to a daily chart and uh, look at this a little bit. And here is a daily chart of the GLD. You can see us coming down right on this line here at about the $157 mark. Um, fought a battle here at this red line, which is the 21-day moving average. Still below it. Couldn't get above it the last uh, four or five sessions. Um, challenging it uh, uh, now, um, the line has broken through this uh, green dotted line, which is the 100-day moving average, crossing below that. And of course, we're below the 50-day moving average. So. Chart-wise, uh, we are under key moving averages, which is uh, not a great sign. Uh, on the bullish side, we have, <coughs> have uh, developed this sort of uh, trading channel that is slightly moving higher. And we are holding uh, uh, above these lows uh, made uh, uh, several weeks ago. So gold fighting a battle to get some sort of a rally going here, challenging down here at the lower trend line. If it breaks further, uh, that will be a sign of weakness if it breaks out of this line. And certainly if it takes out 155.27, um, <clears throat> we're back in a downtrend here. And scrolling down to show you volume, you can see that it has been light for the last several weeks. Uh, we did have a spike up here uh, just to average volume on a down day. So um, not a great sign there, but just low volume, uh, trying to just move higher uh, in sort of a slow measured way. But uh, once again, back down here challenging things. Now drilling down here to a 60 minute chart. Uh, this is one bar for every 60 of uh, one hour's worth of trading. You can see that we are clearly in a downtrend on the 60 minute uh, uh, graph here. And I don't like to buy uh, if this is in a downtrend. I like to wait for this to be in an uptrend. So we have broken through the 158.30 obviously, which uh, has kept this downtrend going. Uh, our um, high here of 162.03 was under this high here of 164.16. So um, uh, lower highs and lower lows, that is a downtrend. And uh, we are uh, be uh, beneath these uh, key moving averages here. So on a 60 minute chart, we're looking weak. And certainly uh, we're below this uh, 200 uh, um, hour moving uh, uh, average here. Uh, and uh, all our, our moving averages are lining up uh, to the downside. So in trading the GLD, um, if it breaks 155.27, we're clearly in a downtrend. Um, I would not uh, uh, buy uh, the GLD unless the 60-minute uh, uh, chart is back in an uptrend. So at this point, it's just uh, let's wait and see if we can get something going here. And uh, you can monitor the um, uh, spot gold prices um, uh, in real time over at Kitco. And we can see that we are at 1609 right now, uh, sort of in this uh, sideways pattern here, uh, holding above the $1,600 mark. So once again, we're at a critical area of support for gold, um, uh, watching uh, very closely down here to see if we can get a rally going or if we break further and uh, go back into a downtrend on gold.